is improvised first aid important? Yeah, improvised first aid is very important. The services teach us improvised first aid so that we can help each other in the field if one of us is injured. As a matter of fact, a fellow service member and I were jogging one day. He fell down and suffered what I suspected to be a lower leg injury. I had to apply my knowledge of improvised first aid to apply an improvised splint. Ah! Dave! Dave, what's wrong? I think my leg is broken. All right, let me take a look at it. First, evaluate the injury. I think I can split this. Don't worry, man. You'll be fine. I need to find something to stabilize the fracture. I'll be right back. These will be perfect. Second, find items to stabilize the fracture. Here, I got some sticks that should work. So let me pad the leg first. Third, make sure to pad the area. Dave, hand me your PT belt. Finally, make sure the splint is secure. All right, this should hold. Don't worry, I'll be right back with help. Improvised splinting, and really improvised first aid in general, is important for any service member to know. Even when you don't have all the textbook materials, you still need to be able to provide aid when the time comes, no matter what.